Hey everybody, uh, today for some at home science we're going to go with some egg themed stuff and it's really quite easy. You see the shells of these eggs, they have calcium carbonate on them. So that's what kind of makes them you know, nice and hard. And that's a base. I mean, most carbonates are bases. And so uh, we can react that with an acid, what we have in here, vinegar. So this is acetic acid. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this egg and we're going to immerse it in vinegar. Okay. And before long, you should start to see some little bubbles start to pop up. And we're, of course, we're going to have a control experiment. So here's our egg, and it's going to go into just straight water. So we have an egg in water, and we have an egg in vinegar. Now, here's the thing. This does take a long time. You should let this sit, like, overnight. And then in the morning, we'll see something pretty cool. Okay? So you can see the egg on the left is in water. It looks pretty smooth. And then the egg on the right is in vinegar. And it looks like it has a lot of bubbles around it. So if I just give it a little tap, you can see a whole lot of bubbles just sort of break and pop and new ones form. So again, we're gonna let this sit overnight. So after two days, did two days because you know, kind of ran out of time yesterday. Um, and that's also fine because you can let this sit for more than a day. The egg that we put in there before is very much the same as it was when it went in. So nothing's really happened to this egg. It's a good control egg. This egg, and I'm only going to take it out once and I'll do that in the next shot, is very different. Um, it's a lot bigger, it's a lot more rubbery, and you can, we can kind of see through it. So I'm going to take this out and set it down on something nice and soft so we can get a good look at both. So here are my two eggs. Again, the one that was in water and the one that was in acetic acid. A couple things have happened here. One, this shell has completely worn away on this one, so it's not there anymore. But we're left with small membrane right here. Now, there is a small mem membrane between the shell and the contents of the shell, of the egg. So where we've got like the white and the yolk, those are still kind of here. And if you, if you really kind of get a look in here, you can, might be able to see that the yolk is on the inside and it's still there. This is also a lot bigger than what it started as. Um, this has swollen. That's because some of the solution that we did this in, the acetic acid solution, the water has sort of um, crossed that membrane. So we have a semi-permeable membrane and it expanded this and I made this swell. It's also kind of rubbery. And so if you press on it a little bit, you can feel that it's rubbery. Now, if you press on it too hard, it will break. This is a really fragile egg. So you want to be careful with it. Unless um, breaking it is what you want to do, in which case, have fun. So that's it, really. It just takes a little bit of vinegar to take an egg that normally looks like this and turn it into an egg that looks like this. Okay, you can learn a lot here. You can really get a good look at the contents of the egg, but remember, this is fragile. Very fragile, I'm like, I don't wanna break it. Just make a mess. Have fun making a mess at your house. <laughs>